It's my turn to host Brunch Club, and I thought I would spice things up a bit. So I'm putting together a Mexican-inspired feast for my girlfriends to devour. For the main course, I'm whipping up my chorizo egg and cheese enchiladas, which are really hearty and have this delicious smoky heat from the chorizo. To get started, I'm cooking up some Mexican chorizo, which is a sausage seasoned with chili peppers that renders a lot of good flavorful fat. I'll transfer it to a bowl. Okay, I'm gonna leave the chorizo fat in my pan now because I'm gonna cook my onions in it. I have one chopped onion here and I'm gonna add half of it to the pan. I'll reserve the other half for my green chili sauce. I'll add a little bit of salt, but I wanna go easy on the salt with this filling because there is a lot of salt in the chorizo already. My onions are getting soft, I'm gonna grab my eggs. I have a dozen eggs here. The chickens have been hard at work. I'll whisk these up. Can't have brunch without eggs. Okay, now I'll add these to the pan with the onions. And I'm gonna cook these, scraping up the bottom as I go until they're just considering being fully set. I don't want them to be fully cooked because they are gonna continue to cook in the oven. Enchiladas are such an awesome way of feeding a crowd. You can prep them in advance, you can make a big batch, you can make two of them and freeze one for emergency brunch club parties, like, oh no, one of my friends dumped a guy, we have to get together immediately. Just stick some enchiladas in the oven. These eggs are still very loose, but this is how I want them. I'll add them to the bowl with my chorizo now. All right, I'm gonna season this with a little salt and pepper. I'll fold this together, and now I'll get going on my green chili sauce. Enchiladas have to be smothered in a sauce, and a lot of times you see them made with red sauce, but I also really like green chili sauce because the flavor is super bright, and canned green chilies are easy to find any time of the year. I'm starting by chopping up a jalapeno. I'll remove the seeds. I gotta remember not to touch my eyes after doing this. I'll finally chop this. And then in my skillet, I'll add a drizzle of olive oil, and I'll cook my onion and jalapeno until they're soft. I'll add a pinch of salt. As these soften, I'll chop up two cloves of garlic. And then I'll add these right in. Now for my spices, I'm gonna add a teaspoon of cumin, which adds woodsiness and a touch of bitterness, a half a teaspoon of dried Mexican oregano, which it has some citrusy notes that go great with this bright sauce. I'll kick up the heat with a pinch of crushed red pepper and some black pepper. I'll stir this around and let these spices toast just for about a minute. My friends and I get together for brunch regularly, always at each other's houses, and we love to try out different recipes. I know they're really gonna appreciate this Mexican take. Veggies are looking great. I'm gonna blend everything up so that it's extra smooth. I'll also add a teaspoon of sugar. A little bit of sweetness will go a long way in rounding out these flavors. And then diced green chilies. And add some more flavor with some vegetable stock. You can also use chicken stock. And I'll blend this on high until it's very smooth. This color is groovy. Oh, oh that smells delicious. I'm gonna pour it back into my pan now. I wanna simmer it for a few minutes to allow all the flavors to meld together and just get better. I've got flour tortillas, shredded mozzarella cheese, and tots. I'm really excited about these. I've crisped them up in my pan. I've seasoned them with salt and pepper, and I have extras to do that. I'll grab my casserole dish. And to put the enchiladas together, I'll start with a layer of green sauce on the bottom of my dish. Spread this around. I'm ready to assemble. I've worn my tortillas a bit so that they're pliable. I don't want them to tear. And I'm gonna add about a third of a cup of egg filling right down the center. Wanna get it evenly distributed. Next, I'll add a big old pile of cheese. I love it when it gets melty and ooey and gooey. And lastly, six tots right on top of the cheese. Oh, that's a Midwest flair. I'll roll this up and lock all the fillings in, and then I'll place it seam side down right into my casserole dish. I'll continue on rolling up my enchiladas. 
these are cozy and tucked in tight. I'm gonna pour the rest of my green chili sauce all over the top now. And this is gonna soak into the tortillas and make them so good. I'll spread the sauce all over the top. Oh yeah, I can't wait to eat these. And I'll spread on the rest of my cheese. These are gorgeous. I'll stick them in the oven now at 375 for about 40 minutes until the cheese is melty and browned. These enchiladas are gonna be out of this world fantastic. Look at that browned bubbly cheese. These enchiladas are stunning. They need some accessories though. Before I serve, I'm gonna drizzle them with some sour cream, some sliced jalapeno. It'll make things extra spicy. Sliced radishes, mainly because they're pretty, but also they'll add nice peppery crunch. And I'll finish with a sprinkle of cilantro for that great pop of freshness. Are these the prettiest enchiladas you ever did see? I love these a whole enchilada.